Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an icosahedron frame like this one. I'll be showing how to make a slightly smaller version that takes just over three sets of magnets. You will need 60 rings of 10 magnets and 12 rings of 5, 12 pentagons. And to start, you want to take your 60 rings and flatten them all. like so, and you want to split every second layer, every second layer, so you end up with a shape like this. When you have them all split up like this, you want to take two and connect the points on the bottom, like this. And then you want to take a third and connect it in the same way to form a triangle. You want to keep adding these units together, forming triangles uh, in this way until you make a pentagon. like this. Then you want to continue in the same exact way, adding subunits around, forming triangles and pentagons around the entire shape. When you have your shape looking like this, you can set that off to the side and connect your remaining pieces until you form another pentagon like you made in the start. Just like this. Then you can connect these two pieces by taking this point here where three connect and just connecting it to these two pieces and doing that around the whole shape, just like so. Then you can take your 12 pentagons and add one to each point where five come together. Now, it's not incredibly important, but I think it just looks nicer that when you connect the pentagon uh, to make it connect to a point like this. So you'll see it comes to a point. Uh, if you don't do it like this, it will connect like this and you'll see that it doesn't come to a point. So you want to just take the pentagon and flip it around and connect it again. And you want to connect all the pentagons in this same way. When you connect them all, you'll have finished your shape. And you'll notice that on each triangle, on each face there is a complete triangle. This shape, as I said at the start, uses stacked rings of 10. In comparison, this shape here uses stacked rings of 20. So you can see it is quite a bit bigger um, and it's made in the exact same way in terms of connecting the pieces, 
but if you make it any bigger than this it'll be a bit more awkward to connect because the pieces are uh, too flimsy and heavy to fully support themselves but you can make it bigger it's not incredibly difficult it just gets harder the bigger you make them hopefully this tutorial was helpful um, and I'll see you all next week